guys, halo semuanya. Apa kabar? Selamat datang di Ayu Petrin dan Sudah lama Matt nggak kelihatan, sebenarnya sekarang sudah mulai memasuki liburan musim panas. Kalau liburan musim panas di sini itu lama banget ya Matt ya. Sampai sekitar Agustus, minggu terakhir Agustus begitu. Ini berisik banget. Ya, yeah, exactly. That's why I paused during the intro. Iya. Yeah. Kalau musim panas begini orang-orang pada renovasi, terus memperbaiki segala sesuatu karena cuacanya bagus. Jadi maklum saja kalau hari ini agak berisik, maafkan. Oke, okay. sudah lama Matt nggak ikut di video kita. Sekarang hari ini dia ada waktu lagi nggak main sama teman-temannya. Sudah setahun ini Matt masuk SMP. Kalau SMP di sekolah Matt Middle School starts in which grade? It starts when you're in sixth grade and it ends when you finish eighth grade. Hmm, jadi agak beda dengan di Indonesia dan juga agak beda dengan sistem public school di Hungaria. Kalau di Hungaria umur segini masih SD. Mereka nggak ada SMP tapi langsung ke SMA. Jadi beda lagi. Okay, today we're gonna talk about your middle school experience. Tell me, in sixth grade, how was your experience this year? Um, so because of the pandemic, I had to stay at home while my friends were doing in-person stuff. How, how is that possible? You were at home and then they went to school. It was because we were given the option to stay at home. I know the school recommended that we go in person, mm. wear a mask, social distancing. Still went to school. Yes, but even though they recommended that, I still thought going home was a safer choice. Uh, do you think it's the same for all schools in Hungary or just your school? Uh, I don't think so because a lot of schools they appear to be like no um, at home learning. Right, you're saying that your school adopted like hybrid system. Yes, mm -hmm. that. Uh -huh. And then from your experience in sixth grade and from fifth grade when you were still in elementary, I think it was quite different how you did distance learning. Yeah, and also, yeah, yeah, mm, yeah, it different. was really different because in elementary school, we didn't have any video calls with the teachers right. or the students. How did you do it? Um, there was a web page and that website would be updated every day with new videos that had instructions from mm -hmm. the teachers that you had to follow. So most of the time you didn't even have to have video call or yep. Zoom meeting. That's called a synchronous distance learning because it was very self-paced. Mm -hmm. So in the morning you were given this much task mm -hmm. and it's up to you whether you finished it at 2 p.m. or at 10 a.m. or at 4 mm -hmm. p.m. Oh, well, the maximum was 3.30. The you had to get it finished by 3.30 uh -huh. p.m. Yeah, well, now in... Middle school in sixth grade. Zoom meetings all my life, basically. You had Zoom meeting all the time. How yes. is that possible? From morning, when did you start school? I usually started at 8.30 8.30 sharp, you would stay yes. in front of computer. 8.30 sharp. You had the camera on mm -hmm. with microphone. Yes. Everybody did the same. Um, um, when, for the most part, yes. until hybrid learning. Yes, until 3.30 p.m. Yes. So actually, basically, it's the same like in-person learning, it's just that in front of camera. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then about the subjects, I think your subjects in 6th grade are quite different from 5th grade. Can, yeah. can you tell us? In 5th grade, there were a lot more subjects yeah. to do. There. Every day there were eight classes a day mm -hmm. because there were lots of subjects. So we'd have stuff like math, writing or writer's workshop mm -hmm. as we called it, PE, art, um, uh, a lot. Yeah, mm -hmm. basically. And now? In sixth grade, however, they appear to have um, shrunken down the subject. So like mm -hmm. previously there was the super specific subjects. No. There was a difference between social studies uh -huh. and unit of study. 
which was basically when we would study specific topics. In sixth grade, however, um, social studies and grammar are combined into one class called humanities. So humanities is like huge subject and then it has it covers small subjects in yep. literature, mm -hmm. linguistic, right? Mm -hmm. They taught us about sentence types at uh -huh. one point in the year, like compound sentences, simple sentences, and then there were complex sentences. Mm -hmm. And then how about social studies? It's also humanities. Yes. There are also exploratory classes. What's that? Um, they're also known as arts classes by me. Um, by you? <laughs> yeah. There are five types of exploratory classes mm -hmm. and you choose four of them to take during the year. And during each quarter in the year, you would like alternate through the classes you choose. Ah. Um, there's, there's 3D modeling, mm -hmm. which is very self-explanatory. You make 3D mm -hmm. models with a computer. <laughs> yes. Um, there's also, um, drama, where mm -hmm. you, like, perform based on a story that the teacher provides. Mm -hmm. Um, there's music, yes. where you learn how to compose your own songs. You know, like, the basics of using music notation software. And then there's art, mm -hmm. where you paint, you sculpt, and mm -hmm. yes. Mm -hmm. And there's band, where band. you join the school band. There's like a school band. It's very different from music, but you can only choose specific instruments. So, so it's not like, like band in, you know, like the Beatles? No. <laughs> BTS, not like the... No, it's, it's not very electronic. Uh -huh. Um, it's actually very acoustic. There's like mm. saxophones, flutes, and drums, and oh. maybe timpanis involved. It, it's like marching band. Yes. It's just not marching. Marching band, <laughs> uh, static band. Static band. <laughs> Plus, my school also focuses a lot on emotional situations. Mm, yes. Um, because back in elementary, mm -hmm. the counselor would visit us every week and they would like walk us through how to like deal with a specific mm -hmm. social problem and yeah. all that stuff. Now we have that every day, but with a teacher oh. that isn't a school counselor. Oh, is that a subject? Yep. Advisory. Yes, advisory. Which is probably like homeroom in elementary? Uh, a bit. It's like homeroom but you don't visit it very much mm. during the week. So you don't actually have homeroom. You don't have classmates no. all the time. In in elementary, mm -hmm. everything will branch off a specific class, yes. homeroom. Um, in sixth grade, now that we've smashed homeroom to pieces with a hammer, all of the classes are just scattered for me. Like, it's very hard to navigate. So, for example, you have math you will go to certain room and then after yes. that you will have humanities you will run to another yes. room yes in my time this was happening in university but for you sixth grade you I are already think, i kind of think that it's also their way of teaching us how to organize our lives and how to think tactically like mm -hmm. oh i need to get to humanities in like five, five minutes, minutes. Mm -hmm. but i have a lot of stuff in my locker that i need to organize <gasps> which should i prioritize mm -hmm. first but for example so this was your first day mm -hmm. and then you have one minute to catch the, the next class and you 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 were lost you couldn't find your way and you were late what will well, happen in the main room that you go to when you open the doors mm -hmm. into the building, there's a receptionist that can like tell you the directions. And if you're still late arriving to the next class, would the teacher punish you or something like that? Or you were okay. never late so you don't know? I, I have almost never been late, mm -hmm. so the teacher doesn't really punish you directly, more indirectly. How? Um, Teachers keep like a giant digital chart of every single student and their attendance status. Ah. 
Mm -hmm. So they take attendance yep. for every single class. So mm -hmm. if you arrived early or at the right time, mm -hmm. then they would mark you as present. Mm -hmm. If you were absent without a reason written from a parent, mm -hmm. then it would be absent on excuse. Mm -hmm. Likewise, if the parent told the teacher in advance, then the student would be absent excused. Ah, mm -hmm. The same thing goes for when you're late. Except that rather than absent, it's tardy. Oh. So, so I usually set a barrier for myself. If I can't arrive after five minutes after the class begins, I will be tardy. So I have to hurry up. It can be overwhelming, especially on the first yes. week. Yes, and, and the worst part... Um, Rather than assigning specific classes in specific order to specific days of the week, mm -hmm. there's like a schedule for day points. So like mm -hmm. every day you get a point, and if you reach seven points, your points will go back to one. Oh. And, and you would have different classes based on the amount of day points you have. Oh, for example, yes. like in elementary or in most schools, the schedule would be like Monday, Tuesday, yes. Wednesday, and so this on. One for is you, day one, one day point, two day points, three day points, four day points, and so on. Mm -hmm. um, so, for example, your first Monday is day one. Yep, one day point. And the next week it would be a day six because so six in a week there are seven days mm -hmm. the first monday and the second monday will have different schedule mm -hmm. so you have to check i don't know what do you check um schedule online schedule yeah if there's also an online schedule that adapts based on mm -hmm. which day it and is. you have to have your laptop all the time yeah not only do lots of classes rely on it for like research, 3D mm -hmm. modeling and all that yada yada waffle waffle, yeah. but you also need it if you want to accurately check which day it is. Right, but then, so every student in middle school, they have to carry a laptop. Yeah. What if you forgot? I can't imagine what happened because, oh wait. I did forget it at one point. <laughs> For um, you, I think you didn't forget, but your laptop had not arrived. arrived. Yeah. yeah. So, if your laptop didn't arrive yet, or you didn't have it on you, mm -hmm. you could go to the school office, um, not to visit the principal, <laughs> but rather to visit the loaner. The loaner would give you a school laptop with a few programs oh. from the school so they have extra mm -hmm. and then at the end of the day you had to go back to the school office return the laptop in case anyone else wanted to use it and then run along back home <laughs> so far what did your teacher say about you um, were you a good student according to the report cards um, yes, report yeah. cards. I did pretty well. You did pretty well, although you spent most of the time at home. Yeah. So, like, were you one of the smartest? I'd, I'd, I wouldn't really say I'm one of the smartest. I'm more one of the people who are smarter than average, mm -hmm. but slightly. They don't actually say who's the smartest no. of they, them all. They don't really rank the students. They rather rank the students on attendance, but that's unrelated. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I guess this kid is smart, this kid is smart, this kid is smart, like that. Everybody mm. is smart. Oh, this kid isn't as smart. Hmm, could we do additional learning? Oh, yeah. Yeah, they, so they can... yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh. There's learning support in my school as well. It's Is it done after school or during the school hours? During the school day. For example, in math class, um, during lunch, if you felt that you had difficulties with, mm -hmm. say, ratios mm -hmm. and part-to-whole and part-to-part ratios, you could visit the teacher and she would help you 
with the grasping the concept. Oh, really? so, she would yeah. give extra lessons. Mm -hmm. So that you would be at the same level as mm -hmm. the other students. Do you have any favorite teacher? Yeah, actually. Yeah. My math and science teachers. Oh, what do they do? Are they cool? Or? They're, they're very cool. How? Because during math, we do these digital lessons that are made and programmed by the teacher. So it was like an interactive slideshow. In, at one point, in one of the slides, the teacher gave two links to videos about statistics. If you click to the bottom link, at first you would see a static image that said, breaking news, but nothing would happen. Mm -hmm. After 10 seconds, you get Rick Rule. <laughs> It's basically, it's basically where, where Rick Astley's never gonna give you up plays unexpectedly. That's called a Rick roll, mm. and yeah, it definitely came unexpected for the uh, class. And you wouldn't mm -hmm. think that a teacher would know mm. memes, right? And and at that point, all the students were just freaking out. Like, how could the teacher know our great weakness, Rick rolls? <laughs> Can we show a little bit of your reports without showing the teacher's faces and such mm. thing? Is it okay? I guess so. So at first you would expect my report to have um, standard grades written on them like A, B, C, D, and F. However, it's very unusual because it's not... Uh, I don't know whether you can see it. There are seven points that you can get. So seven, one to seven. Mm -hmm. One is the worst and seven is the best. And the standard was that you would score at least a four. Mm -hmm. So like if you got four on your report, that was decent. Mm -hmm. Four is okay. Then let mm -hmm. me see. Do you get any three? I probably got one in PE because... You know, I'm not really a fit guy. I'm not really a <laughs> guy. You Look, if I flex my no, muscles, no, 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 no. PE, you got five, four, four. Ooh. It's quite good. In fact, six and seven were on the same level, basically, mm. and I just excellent. Bit my tongue. So you got seven in art, in music. Oh, well, because that makes sense. You're that good in composing mm, music. I made a very catchy melody. I mm -hmm. haven't heard it since the end of my music classes, but it was very catchy. Yeah, I think and your teacher it, liked it. Mm -hmm. And then also, you got seven in Spanish. I don't really understand mm -hmm. how that happened, because for me, Spanish is extremely difficult. So I think that's just him teaching us how to not zoom into every detail. Instead, mm -hmm. just understand the bigger picture. It's enough to understand the bigger mm -hmm. picture. That's how you learn a foreign language. That's how I learned English back then. The school is a bit better a than bit better? most schools that I know of. Um... I'm pretty happy with it. You're pretty happy, and you're and gonna... and for the most part, they have very permissive grading. I think so. They they take into consideration not really whether or not you know absolutely <laughs> everything about absolutely every topic, rather about um, probably like your effort. Mm -hmm. And I think it is permissive. For example, when you were absent you didn't know that there was a homework, so you didn't do it, right? Oh, yeah. And then your teacher said, you're not supposed to do homework when you were sick, Home right? Yeah. It wouldn't happen in my school. I don't know if it was the teacher or the rule was like that. I was still in first grade, I remember. I was absent for a few days, so I didn't know that there were homeworks while I was away. So I went back to school when I was okay, and then it turned out, there were homeworks for some subjects and I didn't do it and my homeroom teacher taught everything so from math science everything she did it and then she asked how come you didn't do your homework well I was sick even if you were sick it's your responsibility to know so in this situation your school is really really permissive you should be grateful about it
to me, my school feels normal a bit. Because you like, have never gone this to. Is, this is the normal school. <laughs> Those schools are just a bit stricter than normal. A bit. So anyways, thank you guys for watching this video. If this was a very eye-opening video, then maybe our other videos maybe as well. Uh, did I have to say B so many times? <laughs> anyways, I'll see you soon. Goodbye.